All right, well, here it is, guys, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I like how the newer box is thinner. And here's the phone. I went with the Pacific Blue. I've always gotten silver or black or space gray, and so this is a new color for me. I cover it with a case anyway, so not a big deal if I don't like it, but I do think that's a pretty nice looking color. I've heard that fingerprints show pretty easily on the side. This is pretty shiny, and sure enough, they do. But who cares about the aesthetic of the phone? The reason I got it and the reason you're here and the reason for my YouTube channel is all about the video capabilities of mobile devices, in particular iPhones. And this being the new iPhone 12 Pro Max, it is supposed to be the best video featured phone they've ever made. It has a larger sensor. It has new technology regarding stabilization and it has a wider aperture wide lens. It's an F 1.6. And so what I'm going to do, and I did this with the 11 Pro Max I got last year, I'm going to do a series of videos on this device, all video related, and showing the best and worst of what this thing can do and let you know my opinion on whether you should get this phone or not. All right, just wanted to quickly do a comparison of the size of the phone and the lens mount. This is an iPhone 8 Plus. This is a 10s Max. This is 11 Pro Max. And this is the 12 Pro Max. If you look closely, you can see this phone is maybe an eighth of an inch taller. These three were pretty much exactly the same size. Obviously, the lens mounts were different, the configuration. One thing you will notice, though, is between the 11 Pro Max and the 12 Pro Max, this is bigger. This lens configuration, this lens mount, whatever you want to call it, is considerably bigger than that one. I see those side by side there. I'm not 100% sure why they decided to do that. Probably the sensor size and just the mechanism they're putting in there around it. But what that also tells me, of course, unfortunately, is majority of the accessories you own for this will not work with that. And that is a bummer. But they are similar size phones. The thickness is actually pretty much the same. This is the 11 Pro Max and this is the 12 Pro Max. But this being a square edge, this phone feels beefier, feels more substantial. I like the design of this. I like the look of it. It almost feels retro in a weird modern way. However, this one with the smoother edges, I think probably feels a little easier to hold in your hand and I haven't tried it yet, this will probably slide into your pants pocket easier too. But again, the reason I got this phone, the reason I get all these phones, besides making phone calls and texting and you know surfing Twitter and YouTube, it's for the video capabilities. And that's why I went with the 12 Pro Max and the 11 Pro Max before it. And of course the 10s Max and the 8 Plus. These are all solid phones. Each one has been an incremental upgrade video capability wise, but the 12 Pro Max should be the largest upgrade in several years. So I wanna do a quick low light test and in very unfavorable conditions. In my studio here with no lights on except for the above lights and so no video lights on, but this is a place that an iPhone in particular struggles and so I wanna see how it does. On the right side of the frame is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm going to use that to compare it to the new 12 Pro Max, which is on the left. Shooting with the native iPhone camera app in 4K 24P, and it's in their 10-bit Dolby Vision. I'm just using the automatic settings, of course, since it's the native app, and I'm not going to lock them for this shot. Okay, so here's the 11 Pro Max, and as expected, it is pretty noisy. I hope you can see that on YouTube. There is a lot of dancing noise all around this image. You can particularly see it on the wall and on the box. This is a 200% view. Now I'll zoom in even closer. This is a 400% view. And it's noisy. And remember, the iPhone 11 Pro Max is a very good phone. Now here is the 12 Pro Max and the 10-bit HDR. I need to stop real quick and explain something before I go any further. Remember that Dolby Vision HDR is for consumption or displaying on a TV. And so there's two things going on here. The first one is I'm editing in Premiere Pro 
and it does not support Dolby Vision HDR. And so that metadata is not there. And then the second part is I'm editing an SDR, standard dynamic range, not HDR. So in this situation, what I'm doing is putting a very slight color grade on the footage to make it look like it did when it was originally recorded. All I'm really doing is adjusting the contrast and adding a little bit of saturation in. And I'll talk more about the Dolby Vision HDR in future videos. All right, so now you can see it color graded. And the main thing I want you to notice though is there is almost zero noise here. The noise level is very, very minute. It actually looks amazingly good. Even at 400% here, you can see really no noise. I have to say I was pretty shocked by this and surprised in a great way. And so here's the side-by-side -side comparison. 11 Pro Max on the left, 12 Pro Max on the right. And hopefully again on YouTube, you can see the noise all over the 11 Pro Max. And the 12 Pro Max, it looks really good. So now I'm going to actually turn some video lights on and light this like I would a traditional product shot. But even doing that, since I'm inside, I would rarely get good results using an iPhone. And so let's see how these two compare doing that. So now the above lights are off too, and I'm only using my video lights. And here's the 11 Pro Max, and here it looks good. Remember, the 11 Pro Max is only a one-year-old phone, and so it's a very good device. It's just not as good as the 12 Pro Max with its newer sensor and the 10-bit aspect of it. But the 11 Pro Max in controlled lighting looks good. And now here's the 12 Pro Max, and again, it looks excellent. And it does, to my eye, look a little bit better than the 11 Pro Max. It renders the colors more realistically, and the noise is subtly less. But again, the 11 Pro Max in controlled lighting at the proper exposure, not having to pump up the ISO, it definitely looks quite good. So the difference between these two phones is pretty big when it comes to the cameras and the wide camera in particular. The new phone has an f1.6 aperture. The 11 Pro Max had a 1.8 aperture. And so that automatically is letting more light in. And then the new phone also has a larger sensor. So this is the very first test period I have done with this phone. I haven't shot outside. I opened the box and now I'm shooting this video it should look better in low light. To me, that's one of the biggest hurdles for using my iPhone in more professional environments. Shooting outside, everything can look great. You've got plenty of light, but shooting inside or in more cinematic scenarios where you're purposely lighting things darker, lower key, then they tend to suffer. Just a quick note, guys, to say that yes, this is a moment case. And so depending on when you're watching this video, you might be wondering how I got this because they're not out yet, but this is a pre-release version for the 12 Pro Max. And so, as I mentioned earlier, showing the 11 Pro Max, it is bigger than its predecessor, the lens mount area. So they wouldn't be interchangeable, unfortunately. But if you watch my channel, you know I am a fan of moment cases. I like the build quality and I especially like using lenses, which by the way, I will be doing some tests using moment lenses in some future videos. So what do you guys think? I am personally almost blown away by how much better the low light ability is with the 12 Pro Max. The sample shot of the fireplace and then the hallway, all available light. So if you're planning to do low light shooting, whether that's natural light, shooting B-roll, or lighting something in a narrative fashion, I can say without question, this upgrade is definitely worth it. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think. I'll have more videos coming soon focused on the video capabilities of the 12 Pro Max. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching guys. This is Blake Calhoun and I will see you in the next video.